Yikes. Don't run away from me. I'll just run after you, both of you. Who's running? I can't believe I was so stupid to think the two of you just kissed. <laughs> me neither. He told me. He told me that's all that was going on, just kissing. Mm, please. This is so boring. Is it? It's boring to you when you ruin somebody else's life? Did someone here ruin your life? Yeah, he did. Jack did. He was my boyfriend, my first boyfriend, and he cheated on me and lied to me, and I in turn had to lie to my parents. And now I don't know if they're ever going to trust me again or if I'm ever going to trust another guy ever again. And yet you're friends with Ricky. You trust him? At least he's honest. Is he? Then ask him if he's the father of Amy Jurgen's baby. Have you seen Amy? Jurgens, Amy Jurgens, a French horn player. She didn't show up for practice. So Amy's really having a baby? Yeah. So run along and tell mommy. You win, Grace. You're the good girl and Amy isn't. Although, when you tell your parents, I doubt you'll be able to see your little friend Ricky anymore, huh? No, it has to be Ben's. Ricky would never make a mistake like that. And I would know. I guess you would know about her, too, huh? You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, shut up, Grace! I'm tired of being ashamed of myself. I've been ashamed of myself my whole life, so just shut up! What, is that too honest for you? I thought you liked honesty. So let me tell you something else. I only went out with you because my stepdad asked me to. He wanted to make sure you and your little perfect little family were happy at church. How's that for honesty? Took advantage of her just like he's trying to take advantage of you. She seduced him. Oh, come on. Is that what he told you? All right, you two. I'm standing right here. Forget about me. There's a very hurt and confused girl in there. And who hurt and confused her? Why do you have to blame everything on Ricky? Amy is just as responsible for what happened. She wanted to have sex. Oh, and that is so wrong, isn't it, Grace? Outside of marriage, yeah, it is wrong. It's normal. It's normal to want to have sex. It's even normal to actually do it. It's a sin. Oh, yeah. And all us normal teenagers are going straight to hell. Is that what you think? You know what? Jack really liked it. You know that? And he would never be happy with you after being with me. I wouldn't want to be with Jack after he's been with you. You want to be with Ricky, and he's been with me too. Yeah, well, that's probably one of the reasons why Ricky wants to be born again. Oh. Is that right, Ricky? Again, I should not be the focus of concern here. Maybe we should all pray together for Amy. you heard Ricky's a psycho like we didn't know that already but it's been confirmed you shouldn't start rumors like that Jack <laughs> no it's not a rumor it's a fact what do you mean under all those layered t-shirts is probably a straight jacket uh, what he's in therapy yeah so I've been in therapy too Shh. what is wrong with you I don't care if people know I've been in therapy when we adopted Tom our whole family went to therapy together and separately just to talk through it it was very helpful Grace, people already think you're weird enough. Well, I don't care what people think. I've been in therapy. Just please, trust me on this one, okay? That's two strikes against you. You're a Christian, and you've been to therapy. You're a crazy Christian. You really want that getting out? I'm a crazy Christian. Yeah, I am. I'm a crazy Christian. And I see you're not wearing your promise ring anymore. No, you saw me take it off. Yeah, and I thought you took it off in anger. Plus, I thought your parents would make you put it right back on. No, they haven't even noticed it was off. Well, you should put it back on. It's not safe out here. No, I don't care if it's not safe out here. It's safe in here. Yeah, but decisions about sex aren't made with your brain. Seriously, put that thing back on. No. Why? Because, haven't you heard? I'm a crazy Christian.